Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to share a little bit about my monarch butterfly setup. Um, thank you for your question, Melissa. Um, I was a teacher in a Montessori classroom for 18 years, so I did this every year in my classroom. And now that I've been in home business, um, I still do it because we just love to do it. My kids love it. My husband even is really into it. Um, plus, it's really important to protect monarch caterpillars as they are endangered. Um, so my setup, I use a tomato basket um, and actually I'm thinking of making one a little bigger. This is a small one. Um, they make small, medium, and large tomato baskets. I think I'm going to go for a medium one because when the butterflies emerge, I have to move stuff around to give them a little bit more room for the blood to drip and the wings to open up. Um, so I use a mesh. I'm trying to get close to this so you can see fabric that you can get at the um, any fabric store, Joann's or such. Um, it definitely has to be a thin, soft one. The bigger ones, the little baby caterpillars can get through um, if you have eggs and small babies too. I rolled up the sides around it and just used clothespins. Um, the bottom, if you look at this very carefully, I thread it around the bottom. Um, now when my caterpillars were babies, I actually took a little extra like painter's tape and just taped this down to the sheet a little bit more so the little babies couldn't get out. And then of course, close pin the top. Um, so I'd like to talk a little bit about the milkweed itself because it's very important that you get your milkweed from a trusted source. And it has to be from someplace you know that they don't spray the milkweed. Um, when I was first starting off as a teacher and made the mistake of clipping some milkweed from a local park um, in Hocassant, they must have sprayed because the baby caterpillars were eating it and died. So I was devastated. So that's a lesson learned. Um, so you have to make sure, I actually go to my friend's house and I get milkweed from her house because I know she doesn't spray. So I call her every year and I'm like, I'm coming over to get it. And, um, so you have to make sure it's not sprayed. And if there is a chance it's sprayed, you want to make sure you wash it. So I check the top and bottom of the leaves for any eggs. Um, the eggs are like a white, um, very, very small. I'll, I'll post a picture on her of what the egg looks like so you know. Um, and you have to, the caterpillars are teeny, 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 tiny when they're first born. So you have to make sure you check all the leaves before you wash it. I do wash my milkweed. I'll, I'll put the caterpillars on the side and wash it. Um, if there's a leaf with an egg, I leave that leaf alone. But it is important to get all the aphids off, spider mites. It's one of the things that can kill um, caterpillars in the wild is that obviously other insects want to share the leaf and some insects like the spider mites will crawl into the caterpillar and actually destroy the caterpillar from the inside. So this is one of the reasons I do this. Also important to know is that milkweed, if you look at the little vases I have, little containers I have the milkweed in, you need to use tin foil at the top of it so that the water, the caterpillars can't fall into the water and drown. And it will drink water very, very fast. I've been refilling this water every couple days. So when I do, I very carefully lift the basket up so that the chrysalis don't fall and um, refill the water and put in fresh milkweed if I need to. So hopefully I've gone over everything um, and you will have to kind of restock your milkweed because they eat a lot, especially if you have a lot of caterpillars. I went and got new milkweed at um, my friends and came home and I realized I had another chrysalis and another egg. <laughs> so I now have more caterpillar than I planned on this year. So this must be a good year for the caterpillars. Um, so FYI, also this is the third generation of caterpillars. There are three generations of caterpillars and this is actually the generation this time of year that goes to Mexico. So that's an exciting fact. Um, I will have my monarch caterpillar kit out soon which is gonna be an interactive language and science journey for younger children. Um, you can read the story to your child and they can find language cards as you go through the story, which will be fun. So I'm still obviously making that because I'm still getting pictures and I'm trying to get as many pictures as I can for the story. 
Um, so hopefully I'll get one today of the butterfly emerging and then I'll be all set to share that story with everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.